Alright guys, I am shooting on a OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, I had a S10 Plus. Um, it was a lemon. Uh, got rid of it. Went to an iPhone XS Max for a while. Um, didn't really have the functionality that I wanted, so I tried the S10 Plus again and got a good one. Um, really nice phone. Great camera, great battery life, great screen. Um, I thought the fingerprint sensor was a little crappy. Um, I kept programming my fingers, my thumbs, you know, whatever I could, and uh, just could not get it um, to be reliable. First press, it was always two, three, four presses. Um, even when I took uh, some of the advice of other people and, uh, you know, would program the same uh, finger multiple times, um, just couldn't get it right. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, it was a, it was a fantastic phone. I mean, I loved the uh, I you know I loved the size of it. It was uh, you know fit in the hand really nice, um, really kind of snappy, uh, good colors, good uh, good camera quality. But uh, I went to a T Mobile store and uh, picked up the One Plus Seven Pro and uh, thought it was. Uh, yeah, it looked nice enough to try. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's 50 bucks to bring it back. But uh, anyway, so I picked one up, and uh, God, I am blown away by this phone. Um, first of all, the size is uh, big, but not huge. Um, yeah, it's. I, I think it's the biggest phone I've ever had, size-wise, but not by much. Um, you know, it's easy to hold. It's got like these curved edges that are, uh, you know, kind of make it easier to hold. Um, on the other hand, I have dropped it once. Um, I don't know when the last time I dropped a phone was. I don't know if it has something to do with the size or if it was just a sheer, sheer fluke. But uh, I did actually drop it once. But I, it came with a case and it, it's fine. But anyway, the screen... Um, I, I don't even know what to say about it. It's uh, the biggest edge to edge. It's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, there's nothing not to like about it. The 90 hertz is, you got to experience it to believe it. Um, it's so much smoother than the S10 Plus. The screen is, uh, you know, probably on par with the S10 Plus, but the 90 hertz is like, it's just a game changer. Um, I went back to the S10 Plus just to try it out side by side, and uh, you don't realize how good it is until you go back to something else. Um, camera's been great. Um, I don't really see a drop off, you know, between the S10 Plus and the 7 Plus or the 7 Pro camera. Um, there might be a little bit of a drop off here and there. Um, some some places the S10 Plus beats the 7 Pro and vice versa, but. Man, uh, you know, it's not not really, uh, you know, to, to me, it's negligible, unless you're one of these, uh, you know, camera people who, you know, can see intricate, uh, maybe take it down to the pixel, you might be able to, uh, you know, tell the difference. But uh, as far as the phone goes, it is by far, and I cannot, I can't overstate this, and I'm not exaggerating, it is by far the fastest phone I've ever had. Um, I've had the Samsungs, I've had the Huawei's, I've had the P30 Pro, I've had, uh, you know, the S10 Plus, um, I've had the XS Max, um, you know, all very fast phones. This phone is by far the fastest, and I'm not just talking about navigation, um, you know, I mean, opening, closing apps, flipping, you know, doing this, doing that, back and forth, just navigation. It's so fast, it will spoil you for any other phone. But not only that, it downloads faster. Um, it read writes, you know, memory faster. It's just, it's just a freaking fast phone. I mean, really fast. So I mean, anything that you used to lag on, um, you know, it just it doesn't lag. There's no lag in this phone. There's no jerkiness. There's no nothing. Um, it's just, you know, I, I can't even put into words how much of an awesome experience this phone is to use compared to even the S10 Plus, which is a freaking banging nice phone. Um, build quality, 
I uh, probably have to give it to the Samsung. Um, I mean, I'm sure this phone is. Put, I mean, this phone is put together great. It's a beautiful phone. Um, you know, everything fits. Um, there's no, you know, jagged edges or anything like that. Um, you know, everything works. Um, I just, I probably have to give it to Apple or Samsung as far as like, you know, Apple especially. Apple phones are built like a piece of jewelry. I mean, like a fine Swiss watch. You know, Apple's got it together as far as that goes. Um, Samsung not far behind, and OnePlus not far behind either, but for, you know, $300 cheaper, um, you know, it's just, I mean, it's it's a work of art. I mean, it really is with the pop-up camera, whatever. Um, the, uh, the, the things I don't like about it, um, I don't like the proprietary charging system. Um, if you don't have warp charge, um, charger, it doesn't fast charge. Um, if you don't have, I tried the warp charger with a long cord, like a six foot cord, you know, and it's a, it's, it was a, a nice, you know, not a cheapy, you know, piece of crap cord, but it would not warp charge with, so with that cord. So I'm not sure if it's, if it only works with the one plus cord. Um, but that affects everything. Like I have fast chargers in my car, um, fast chargers at home, whatever. Um, if I don't have the warp charge things, it doesn't fast charge, which is not a big deal because, uh, the battery yesterday, yesterday was the first day I used it all day. Um, and I used it heavy. I mean, I, I was on this phone all day, you know, doing this and eBay and buying, and selling Facebook and Instagram and, you know, watching YouTube, you know, whatever. And, uh, I went to bed with 25%. So, um, I've seen reviews that say it's not as good as the S10 plus. Um, and my first day it's better than the S10 plus cause I've killed the S10 plus with that kind of use, um, pretty early in a day. So, um, you know, I don't agree with the reviews on the battery life. The battery life to me is great and I have it on 90 Hertz, so I haven't turned anything down. Um, it's on the settings right out of the box. So, um, they say you can get an extra hour if you turn it down to 60 Hertz. I don't see myself ever needing that. The only time I would ever do that is if I'm on a, uh, 24 hour plane flight and I don't have USB, which never happens. Um, so other than that, you know, whatever. Um, the selfie camera, pop up, pop down, not a big deal. I don't care. It, it, half the time I don't even notice that it's doing what it's doing. The only time it does affect that I didn't like um, was when you use facial recognition to unlock. Um, every time you turn on the phone, uh, the selfie camera pops up. So if you're a facial recognition kind of person, this phone is probably not for you, unless you don't mind the camera popping up, popping down. Um, I don't feel like I need facial recognition because the thumb, the, uh, the fingerprint recognition is so good on this. It is 10 times better than Samsung, uh, S10 plus, um, way better than the 6T. Um, I have very few misfires. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very rare that I would have to put my thumb on the, on the thing twice. Um, normally, you know, I mean, before I can even put my thumb on and look at my thumb, uh, the thing is unlocked. So it is just, they have, they have really put in a lot of work and kudos to, um, OnePlus for getting that right. Um, other than that, I mean, the screen is edge to edge, um, no notches, no bezels, and you don't realize how much the notches and the punch outs really affect you until you're on this phone. Um, then you realize like, hmm, okay. And the only thing that might outdo it now is the new Oppo with the uh, in-glass uh, camera, selfie camera. I don't know, don't know if you've seen that video, but uh, if I can, I'll link it in the, in the description, but they're actually putting the camera behind the screen. So no notch, no pop-up, no nothing. It's just, you know, I don't know how it works, but it's magic. So, but, uh, in the meantime, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the unboxing with this phone, I was going to do one, but it's, I mean, everybody's done one and it's so simple. I mean, there, there's a box, there is a phone, there is a charging block and there's a cord and, you know, some documentation that nobody reads. But, uh, other than that, man, I, you know, yeah. 
I can understand why people, I'm seeing more and more videos of people leaving the S10 Plus and the XS Max to go to this OnePlus 7 Pro, and I, man, I doubted it, uh, that it was legitimate for a long time until I did it, and now I can completely see why. I'm a day into this phone, and I don't miss the S10 Plus at all. I don't miss anything about it. Nothing at all. So... You know, if you're going to try it out, I would definitely just go for it. You know, if you're an Android person and, uh, you know, you're into uh, flagship type phones, um, you know, do it. You know, if you're not into flagships, I might go with the Pixel 3a XL, something like that. But uh, as far as bells and whistles, man, this thing is amazing. So let me know what you think. If you got anything to add, uh, leave it in the comments and I'll maybe put it in my next video. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you.